good morning everyone uh, i am dr jatin patel here with you people for uh, physio webicon organized by haryana charter association of physiotherapy haryana charter association of physiotherapy hcap it's a small name it's a well known association who always ready to work for the physiotherapy profession so this time uh, i am a uh, opening batsman for this physio webicon and i'm going to talk about the uh, why we need to mobilize the uh, soft tissue we always seen that numbers of uh, people are there who are talking about the bone mobilization thrust and everything but today i'm going to talk why we need to mobilize a soft tissue right for soft tissue mobilization we all know what things are included in soft tissue the first things uh, i want to talk regarding this it's a facebook live session why we need to mobilize soft tissue in that what things are included in a soft tissue it's in involved uh, tendons ligament fascia muscles nerves everything are there which you can uh, call as a soft tissue now uh, what is soft tissue injury uh, we know that uh, this in things are included in a soft tissue but how uh, we can see it's going to be injured and what should be the response if the tissue is going to be injured it's a maybe external trauma or maybe internal trauma this uh, trauma external trauma you can call is a, a acute uh, acute trauma because of external injuries uh, maybe fall down injury maybe some shock injury over there then of injury that overuse of injury uh, maybe because of the overuse of muscle it's very common in the sports activities as we all know uh, the sports person trying to uh, do practice more and more and every day to try to improve their game so same day they are getting some injury in the soft tissues so how this soft tissue injury going to be heal up the main issue is the soft tissue injury healing process so stages of soft tissue healing uh, first one is your inflammatory response which is start from 0 hours to 72 hours uh, second is your repair and regeneration which start from 48 hours to 6 weeks and uh, the last one is your pre modeling stage it's 3 weeks to the 12 weeks see this uh, one two and three stages it all three stages are very crucial if i'm um, talking about the first phase of this inflammatory response inflammatory phase in that uh, we can see the classical five signs of inflammation swelling temperature tenderness pain everything is there in the inflammatory phase i want to share uh, my experience regarding the inflammatory phase I every time saw this so many people who are uh, doing their job to uh, do something uh, give some eye application and all that but uh, what i'm trying to explain you if uh, something is burning very hardly some fire is there and if you going to put a cold water on that fire then fire immediately going to be stop that's why if the patient don't have any uh, striking symptoms of inflammation then no need to apply any eyes or no need to give any nsaids it will be heal up very easily if you going to apply any eyes so if you are using the nsaids it means you are trying to stop the process of inflammation and might be you will be responsible for make this condition acute condition to the chronic conditions so let's talk about the repair and regeneration in the second stage it will start after 72 hours in this we can see in this pictures excessively stretch muscle and the excessively stretch muscles after the heal all the tissues what all the like tear in initial injury like an inflammatory stage these tissues trying to heal up and during the process of healing they, they will make a scar and this scar can create the compression on your vascular bundles neural bundles and you can feel some tingling and numbness and you can feel the issues with the uh, blood circulation uh, see this uh, question uh, what i'm talking it's very small in word this things create some issues with your nose and vascular bundles but this everything in our body if i don't have a proper blood circulation then i'm not going to heal up properly say if i having a compression on my nerve then you know the symptoms of that uh, tingling and numbness and continuous pain over there 